It was April in 2016. I had just finished my national youth service. I was so happy, so excited, so I went back home. And that period, I stayed with my parents for a while. So one particular evening, we were just in, we are just out there at the veranda of my house. And my me and my parents, of course, I was sitting close to my dad and we are just having a nice chat. So I told my dad, I said, Mpa, someone has asked me to marry him. So he said, eh, he asked me, okay, where is he from? What tribe is he? And I said, he's from Cross River State. And immediately he looked at me, he was like, Cross River, Mbapa, Kalaba, God forbid. That had the wicked, you cannot go there. I couldn't say a word. I was just sitting there and wondering, how do I convince my dad that this man in question is a good man, that he loves me, that with him I will be safe and we are going to have a good future together. That was the end of the discussion. He didn't say anything to me again. No. I, mean, I didn't even know where to start. I didn't even know what to say to him. So I just kept quiet. And my mom, hey, she, <laughs> she didn't even look at me like, I already know what her answer will be. But their answers are always the same. If my dad is saying no to you, be rest assured that my mom is going to say no. And vice versa. Okay? So that was the end of the conversation that evening i just went inside and i laid on my bed i was just sober and thinking are you in a position right now as a man or a woman just wondering how you're going to be able to convince the people in your life especially those you love your parents and you know everybody that matters in your life that your choice of spouse is the best for you regardless of the tribe ethnicity or whatever that this person is someone you've chosen and you believe that you're going to be happy with this person you're just wondering how do i convince them where do i start from then this video is for you let's look at how you can go about this and achieve good results i know some of you will be like hey but well, i don't need your approval what i know what is best for me and besides they don't pay my bills so what the heck well if that is what you're thinking that i'm here to tell you that the blessings of your parents on your union is second to nothing and while you're thinking about that let's walk through the process on how you can actually convince your parents and all the people who represent father and mother in your life to accept your choice of spouse number one search your heart you have to be sure that this person is actually the one for you see this question is something that there is no pretense. You cannot lie to yourself. You know how they say that you can lie to any other person in this life, but you can never lie to yourself. So search your heart. Think about it. Are you sure this person is the one that is meant for you? That is a question you're going to answer to yourself and be very honest about the answers. The second thing is that you have to realize that your parents and every single person in your life who loves you actually wants the best for you. If they are saying no, don't marry that woman, her people are like this, she might turn out to be this. It's not because they hate you, it's not because they don't want you to progress or anything. Once you understand that, then you'll be able to be more patient and follow through with the rest of the steps in this video. Number three, don't be aggressive with your approach. Just know that you don't need to force your opinion down their truth. Remember, you're the only person that actually knows this person in question. For example, when I was trying to convince my parents that my husband is um, the good man, is this, is that, they don't share that knowledge with me. I am the only one that understands him on that level so i'm trying to sell like i'm trying to sell a product to them it is my duty to make it look enticing instead of being aggressive and fighting and quarreling being antagonistic and all of that no i think that approach is even going to make them reject your plans the more and see the reason why you shouldn't even be with that person because you might begin to hear things like hey but you never speak to us like this it is because of that evil witch of a woman or if it's a lady, you hear things like, yeah, but you never speak to us like this. Now you're becoming disrespectful because of this man. I see this is why you shouldn't even marry him, you know? You can't be aggressive. You treat it as if you're trying to sell a product. Make it look enticing, you know? Things like sometimes you can buy a gift, wrap it. If you're a woman, for example, buy a gift, wrap it, a very expensive and cool gift. Send it to your parents and tell them that it's your spouse who has bought it. You know, all of that. People do all of these things just to try and paint the right picture because you know that this battle eh, if you say maybe fight them the way your hand don't do like this you know if you win and you need the blessings of your parents 
that blessing goes a long way. You actually need their approval, not just by force, but by them willingly accepting this person and saying, okay, at this point, we think that eh, this man is good. He can take care of our daughter. You guys can go ahead. May God bless your union. You know, that is what you need. So you have to present yourself like you're trying to sell a product and be more gentle, not aggressive. Number four, if your mom is still in the picture, go through her. <laughs> Trust me, once you're able to get your mom, uh, every other person will fall in place. Mothers are that powerful. Work on her. She is the one that is going to open the door for you. If you're a man and your mom is still in the picture, uh, focus on mom, see? Do the work from that part. And trust me, she's going to help you. The moment she's convinced, she will not be the one to begin to preach the gospel unto other people <laughs> and try to convert them. Of course, which I know she would eventually be able to convince them and convert them and all of them will come into agreement with your choice. And number five, pray about it. <laughs> in fact, if there's anything you have to pray about in this life, it is your marriage. If you're watching me right now and you don't even have plans to get married in the next five years or even in the next 10, maybe you're very young, you don't have it in your plans yet, it is not too late to start praying about your marriage today. Trust me, it works. Our God is still in the business of answering prayers and the Bible says that the desires of our hearts, God is going to give to us. So pray about it. But remember, that is why I put that point first in the beginning. I said, search your heart. Be sure that this person is actually the one for you. And there are ways through which you can know if the person is the one for you or not. For me, I see dreams. Sometimes when something is bothering me, I close my eyes and I have a dream about that thing and I get my confirmation through them. It doesn't mean that you have to or you need to have dreams just like me. Everybody has a way through which God speaks to them. So find out how you best hear from God and listen to him, that is also part of the process of searching your heart to determine if this person is for you or not. Because before you begin to pray for God to bless a thing, you need to be sure that God actually wants that thing for you, right? That is very important. God is merciful. He loves the act of marriage. In fact, he's the one that instituted marriage. So as long as you're following his command and his principles and everything he says you should not do, you're not doing it. When you come to God in a place of prayer with an honest heart, God will not turn a blind eye. Like the Bible says that a broken spirit and a contrite heart, God will not ignore. When you genuinely come to God in a place of prayer and present this need to him, he would help you. He can even help you through the spirit of God to convince those that needed convincing to let them understand that regardless of age, regardless of tribe, that we are all human beings and we are all children of God and he sees us as one. Always remember that God is the same yesterday, today, and even forever. He's still in the business of answering prayers. He wants for us to succeed. The Bible says that his plan towards us is of good and not of bad to give us an expected end. Therefore, pray. Now, back to my story. I'm sure you're wondering, how did that end? Were you able to convince your parent? Is he the one you married? To answer your question, oh yes, he's the one I eventually married. And how did we do it? You see all this process, all these things I told you. This was exactly what we did. Starting from my heart to, you know, going to my shelf and begin to think about it. Because one thing about convincing yourself or getting the answer or like agreeing to yourself that this person is the one for you is because you know you have this fear of what if anything goes wrong in the future everybody is saying no don't go there no don't go there what if i decide to go there and things don't turn out well or things don't turn out as planned will i be left alone because all these people are going to have it in their lips like I told you so, you know, even if they are not saying it to you in their eyes, already seeing it from their facial expression, they are already telling you, I told you so, you know. So because of that, I had to do a lot of thinking. My husband is from Cross River State, but he grew up in the North. I also grew up in the North. To me, 
that barrier of tribe is not even a barrier. They are the ones that saw it as a barrier. It has never been a barrier in my marriage. Okay, that is my own story. I don't know what your story is. It might just be that, of course, your story is unique and different from mine. But at the end of the day, you're facing stiff opposition. That is what makes us be in the same WhatsApp group, right? <laughs> be sure that this person is the one for you. Be sure that that woman is the one for you. Because my brother, if anything go wrong, ah, you will be like, say, you day alone. And then know that your parents or whoever stands as a parent in your life actually wants you to succeed, actually wants the best for you. Once you understand that, then you won't be aggressive with them. You'll be gentle, try and sell your product, sell your market. <laughs> Just follow the process. That was exactly what we did. There are times that my dad called him and told him that, come, young man, you have to look for someone else. My daughter cannot be your wife. She cannot marry you. Point black. He called me one day and he was telling me that, he asked me, do I know that um, my dad called him? I'm like, I don't know. I had no idea. And he told me what exactly what my dad told him. That he should begin and start to look for another person because me, I cannot be his wife, you know? It was that serious. My dad is someone that values tribe and language so much. So much. I can remember I was still very young then. I think I was around 13 years old or so. Either 12 or 13. When my elder sister then was going to get married. In fact, she just brought the man home. Like, this guy was so into her he had proposed apparently and then she brought him home to introduce him to my parents and after the man had gone the man left my dad broke down in tears literally he was crying and asking my sister that is this how is this what people are going to say about him that his first seed has followed another tribe i don't want to call the tribe Okay, has followed this particular tribe and gone. You know, it was so, he felt so pained that even as a child, I can still remember his face. I can still remember how passionate he, he was about the whole thing, like how sad he was that this might just be his reality. He was so scared of that. Eventually, my sister did not marry that man. She ended up marrying someone else. And you know, long story short, they have their lives, their different lives. But I'm just trying to let you know that to my dad, tribe was a thing for him. It was that serious, trust me. For some people, his age, maybe the woman is older than the man, or maybe the man is way older. And you know, a whole lot of things can be a problem. And because they care for you and they want what is best for you, they oppose these things not because they don't want you to be happy, because they want you to actually be happy and have the best in life. So approach with kindness. Don't be aggressive. And then pray about it. My own lingered, yes, my own lingered for a while. From 2016, in fact, I think before that 2016 said, because we had dated for a while and most of my siblings knew this guy. And I think somehow my parents were already ready for that opposition because they already knew, like, I think someone has already played them the tape that come, we'll see it in the apple, see it in the apple. So they were ready for me. <laughs> but as God would have it, today we're married happily, emphasis on happily, and we're blessed with two beautiful children, which I'm very grateful to God for every day. I feel our marriage is blessed and I feel that the hand of God is upon it. And therefore, I'm making this video not to tell you all of these things, personal stuff about my life, but just to encourage someone out there. I don't know what point you are right now. I don't know what you're facing. I don't know. Maybe you feel like you're the only one in this whole world and it's almost as if the whole world is against you and they can't see what you're seeing. Of course, they can't. Of course they can't. Now let you this yam the way this yam. <laughs> but when you persevere and you're consistent and you pray about it, eventually things will fall in place for you and you'll be happy in the end. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, my name is Wendy And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love as always.